Hi everyone, it's Henry Perch here, founder of Rough Auto Media, SEO and content marketing agency that guarantees page on rankings and also creator of the Squarespace SEO plugin. And in this video, I'm going to take you through WordPress v Squarespace, which one is better for SEO. Now I've ranked hundreds of Squarespace pages on page one of Google. I've also had my fair share of experience with WordPress websites and I've also made a load of mistakes along the way. So I'm gonna give you a complete overview of which one is better, Squarespace or WordPress for SEO. And make sure you stick around to the end of the video where I tell you the secret to ranking any website above your competition, whether you're built on Squarespace, WordPress, Wix, or any other website builder out there. Now, before we get started, it's first of all worth remembering that by following SEO best practices and doing the things that really move the needle, you can rank pretty much any website builder, any website on page one of Google. You've got to remember that the purpose of these website builders, Squarespace, WordPress, Wix, Webflow, is to make money at the end of the day. And if they have poor SEO, their customers aren't gonna get organic traffic and they're not gonna make money. So, you know, don't worry, whatever platform you're on, following best practices means that you can rank on page one. There are better options depending upon your SEO and website building experience, which we're gonna to touch upon in this video, but do not worry because following the best practices, you can get the results if you do things properly. Now, first of all, we're gonna look specifically at Squarespace. As a creator of the Squarespace SEO plugin, I've seen the pros and cons of Squarespace, and I do believe that Squarespace is the best option for beginners to intermediates if you want to rank page one of Google, if you want to make the most out of SEO. And I'm gonna list three reasons why I believe it is the better option for those people that are at the beginning of the journey or if you've got some experience building a few websites and you're looking to utilize SEO to get organic traffic. Now reason number one why Squarespace is the best option for intermediates to beginners is because it's ready to go out the box. You know, it's got pretty good out the box functionality, especially compared to WordPress. What this means, taking us on to our second benefit of Squarespace, is that it's hard to break, especially when you compare it to WordPress sites. I have broken my fair share of WordPress sites and because it's got more flexibility, that often means that you can combine different plugins, different, different tools into WordPress, which can lead to it breaking. On Squarespace, it's very, very unlikely that you're going to break your website, which means as a beginner to intermediate, you can play about with the site, you can try out different settings, you can get creative with your SEO and with your website build without having to worry about breaking your site, um, which you know is gonna save you a lot of cost and mean that you can do probably 90 to 95% of the work by yourself. And this is one of my pet peeves of the SEO and website building community is no one should be stuck into having to build a website and own a website that they can't change for themselves. With Squarespace, you're gonna be able to make changes really, really easily, which means you're not going to be stuck into paying an SEO agency or developer hundreds, maybe even thousands of pounds to make changes on your website. On Squarespace, you can do a lot of it yourself, which is gonna get you much further and allow you to build the foundations, which you can either build upon yourself or outsource to an agency. Now, the third reason that I would recommend beginners to intermediates to choose Squarespace is that it's gonna be much faster for you to get a website off the ground. I found that Squarespace, to be able to get from zero, as in you've got an idea and you wanna make a website, to one where you've got a website live and people come in to visit it, Squarespace is so much faster and that's one of the reasons that I love the platform for beginners to intermediates because they can get started, they can start to earn revenue to reinvest into the business, which makes it a really, really powerful platform, especially when you compare it to sort of WordPress and Webflow, which are a bit more complicated and you may not be able to get grasps of it. Now, in terms of the negatives of Squarespace, one of the big problems with Squarespace and something that you've probably read across different forums, maybe you've watched other YouTube videos that talk about it, people say that Squarespace is bad for SEO. And where that comes from is Squarespace websites often have a low website loading speed. So if you pull it into Google's PageSpeed Insight Test, which essentially looks at the page speed and core web vitals of a website, you'll see that Squarespace websites even score as low as 10, which is really, really low, especially when you compare it to WordPress websites. So that's often where the bad rep comes from. However, 
page speed is just one ranking factor that Google looks at. Just because Squarespace doesn't have the best page loading speed doesn't mean that you can't rank well on Google, but it is something that's worth bearing in mind because if you're an expert and you really wanna squeeze out that real top 1% of SEO juice, then Squarespace may not be the best option for you. There are gonna be changes made. Squarespace is doing a lot, and obviously we've developed the Squarespace SEO plugin to help here. However, that is one thing that is worth bearing in mind and is also one of the main reasons that you may want to consider WordPress. We're now gonna look at the two reasons why you should consider WordPress. And I do recommend WordPress to advanced website builders. So if you're in sort of the top 5%, if you've got lots of experience building websites across different platforms, then I do think that WordPress could be the best option for you. I tend to stick, stick away from it now because I find that customers and people that have had websites built for them on WordPress, they can't do some of the changes that they maybe want to by themselves, so they have to come to an expert. But WordPress, if you do have that experience, is gonna allow you to access that top echelon, which takes us into the two positives. So first of all, with WordPress, it does give you more flexibility. Not only have you got lots of different plugins, it does give you more flexibility. I like to compare Squarespace to the iOS, the Apple of website builders, whereas WordPress is the Android. On WordPress, you're gonna get a lot more flexibility. You're gonna be able to use different tools, different apps, etc., in order to achieve your end goal. However, Squarespace is a lot more like Apple. It's beautifully designed, but if you want that sort of advanced customization, you're not going to be able to easily achieve that on Squarespace websites. So that's where WordPress really can get its edge. And the second benefit on WordPress is you can access a whole host of different plugins on your website. Let's say you've got a WordPress website that has a low page speed. You can easily add a plugin from within WordPress in order to change that. That isn't something that you've easily got the ability to do on Squarespace. And in fact, there's no plugins at the moment on the Squarespace extension marketplace that will allow you to do this, which is one of the reasons that we've developed our Squarespace SEO plugin, which you can check out using the link in the description. So building on top of those two advantages of WordPress, if you really are an expert and you've got that ability to play around with WordPress websites, I'd also potentially consider looking at Webflow because I found in terms of aesthetics, it is much, much easier to get a beautifully looking Webflow website if you're an expert in a comparably shorter period of time. However, in this video, you can see where I'm leaning towards. I do believe that Squarespace website builder is better for 99% of you listening to this video. If you want to achieve page one results, if you want to go from zero to one quickly, then Squarespace is going to be your best option and they're only improving the platform as well. So if you join now, I can guarantee you that in a year's time, the Squarespace platform will have changed. The recently released Fluid Engine, which has caused some controversy, but it's all leaning towards Squarespace being the better platform. It is really the beginning of this platform. There's much, much more to come. Now, I'm gonna tell you the one thing that you can do to rank any website, no matter the website builder that you've built on, on page one of Google. And this particularly applies to those of you who maybe didn't consider Squarespace because you don't think the SEO is as good. If you follow SEO best practices, you can focus on this one thing in order to outrank any website, no matter what it's built on. And that is focusing on maintaining your momentum. As a Squarespace website owner or agency, if you focus on writing search engine optimized content, which boosts your topical authority and domain authority within a space, as well as build high quality backlinks and improve your website's SEO over time, I can guarantee you that you will be able to outrank any website on the internet. And I've seen that firsthand. We guarantee page one rankings on Google. And one of the main ways that we do this is focusing on momentum. We produce high quality search engine optimized content, which targets long tail, i.e. long keywords on Google. We build the domain authority through increasing that topical relevancy and we also build high quality backlinks. And we find over time we are able to rank pretty much any website on page one of Google. So do not worry if you have seen different resources which are telling you Squarespace websites aren't able to rank on page one or the SEO isn't as good. 
I can guarantee you that if you put in the work, if you put in and follow the best SEO practices over time, you will be able to rank on page one of Google, no matter what you build your website on. And if you don't believe me, head over to roughwatermedia.co.uk or seospace.co.uk. SEO Space has my complete resource guide of ranking Squarespace websites on page one of Google and I've obviously developed the Squarespace SEO plugin. So if you don't believe me, check out those websites where you'll see case studies, success stories of people ranking Squarespace websites on page one of Google. And if you did like this video, make sure you press the subscribe button because over the next year, I'm gonna be sharing lots of Squarespace SEO tips to show you exactly how you can rank on page one of Google to generate relevant organic traffic to your website to ultimately increase revenue. And of course, leave a comment below if you have any questions about WordPress v Squarespace, which is better for SEO and how you can rank on page one of Google. Cheers guys, I'll see you in the next one.